Oh, all in the rain. In. Hey, it's a pretty cool car. Let's go. Playing this game is like playing cr all of the crouton maps. You've got a forwards, a backwards, and rain which is effectively slick for all it matters for grip purposes. And that in forwards and backwards. No rockets though. It's incredible, there's only six unique tracks for all of the um, all of the countries. Each country has yeah six six unique tracks. How many countries is there? It's either eight or nine countries. Uh, I think there's eight. But yeah, however many there are. Yeah, there's eight. Three bonus ones and five base. Um, well, there's 1,920 tracks, and I'm more than halfway through, o over a thousand tracks in to every single track in every single vehicle class, involving using every single car. Uh, across the entire board. Car handles way better than the last two. This feels better in the rain than the last one did in the dry.
Ah, tits. Ah, tits. Ah, tits. I should get bonus points for that being cool. Send it. She probably has saved this car, can you? Ooh. Oh well. I need to just slow down and drive better instead of crashing into everything.
Boom.
Anyone follow uh, Trackmania that was watching? Excited for the big deep dip shit? It's brought me back to watching it a bit. I kind of saw everybody talking about it and thought, oh, must be something to it if every fucker's talking about it. And I vaguely followed the deep dip thing last time, but... Be interesting. Be interesting to see. I'm gonna try and find new people. That's my my goal. Is yes, I'm probably going to watch the same people right at the start. But you know, what about when they are offline tomorrow morning first thing? Probably through till quite late in the afternoon because I assume that they're gonna go really long tonight. So I'll try and find some new people playing Deep Dick tomorrow. It's going to be striking that balance. Like, finding new people that are good enough that they'll continue playing it. <laughs> Probably not so good that they're the known people. I thought I might be able to make it with a slide, but no.
Chale. Dylan, how's it going? Nice to hear, nice to hear. Oh, wait, no, been better. The British one. Shit. Been better, like the British sense of being better, or the more general. Been better than I was, and it's going up. Or I have been better, but it's not that bad, because that's a very British way of doing it. The only way to do more British is... That uh, could be worse. Could be worse, all things considered. You've considered everything, have you? Yeah. That was a shit stage. Oh well. Yeah, sure. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, send it over. I haven't watched your last few videos because they're like, just chaos. And I haven't had the energy to think. Deal with the chaos of memes. Mostly memes that I don't understand. Memes are fine. Memes that I understand are fine. But memes that I have to think about. Especially in video form where you don't actually ha get given enough time. You're just expected to know everything. It's like, oh, fuck that. It's not a bad thing though. Just like it's a, it's a good thing for community. But I I don't know if I was talking about it on stream or just talking to myself about it the other day. But I was thinking like when I go into new communities and look at new games, if all I see is content being made for getting people who are new into the game and no content specifically built for people who have been playing the game for ages, I think that's not a very healthy community like the game isn't in a healthy state if everything is about new players coming into the game like it's good that there's new players it's also not in a healthy state if everybody's if there's no content for new players but if you're only making content for new players you're not making content for yourselves then it's like uh game probably ain't in the best state. Like, 
what was I looking at? The other week that was exactly like that. It was like nothing for players who've been playing the game for a while. It was just everything, if you searched it up, was just new player guides. And why you should start playing, and it's like, uh, Maybe you want to make a why you should keep playing. It was a single player game, I can't remember what it was. But it was a... It was a single player game, so may I mean... That's one of those where it's like, is this game really good and really enjoyable and stays with you, but you're only going to play it once, once in a, you know, maybe once a year because you're going to know the story and there's not too much replayability to it. But at the same time, it's shit to get into and you want to help people play it. Because that's sort of fine. That makes more sense than games like if a multiplayer game does it. If all you can find is, multi is new player guides for multiplayer games, it's like... Like, even my stuff, if you look at my stuff, there's a lot of new player guides in what I make. And content for new players to just get into, especially around XCWC. Especially around the world, well, championships. But like, I make a guide for e each week for the map. That's for the people who are new to the game. But then I kind of ignore all the people who are new to the game when I do the uh, review of the week. I just kind of ignore all those people. This is for the people that have played this week and know how the map works, because. You're not going to understand the crazy shit that people are pulling off if you don't know how the map works. And I'll explain it if people ask, I'll explain the basics of the game, but I can't. can't explain it too much. I'll have a look at that edit in a bit though. Once I've finished this run, which I can't remember where I am, but... Oh shit, which way? Don't read chat and drive, kids. Yeah, there's a bit of Trackmania vibes. It's not... It is a game that I play in the same way that I play Trackmania a little bit. Um... Yeah, it's not quite... One of the things... That it's definitely a lot different to Trackmania in terms of Obviously there's overlap because it's car racing, but, like, this is much more long tracks. You know, the shortest track in the game is 50 seconds, which is considered a long track in certain places in Trackmania. Like, that's border... Oh, there's probably only a handful of tracks in this game that fit into Cup of the Day lengths for the new Trek Mania. But I do play it 
somewhat in the same for the same reasons that I enjoy track radio. Well, the fact there's no track editor does make it completely different, though. The track editor kind of it is the thing for track menu, isn't it? It's the USP. Speaking of Trackmania, um, Deep Dip competition starts today. Really difficult big map. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens with it.
That's it. It's all cl close is relative, you know? Close is entirely relative. Everything is completely under control, and I definitely know exactly what I'm doing. I don't know why you would possibly think otherwise watching this phenomenal gameplay meant to do that Last one for Japan in the wet. Oh, come on. Really? That's clip.
Well. I'm driving like ass because I'm basically looking at the car rather than where I'm going at the minute. I can't seem to look up and properly focus on the where I'm going bit of the driving. There we have it. Ugh. Cheers, Turbo.